Shaber 1000 here. Today I got another flea market finds, but it wasn't actually from flea markets. Um, they were from thrift thrift stores. So let's check it out and see what we got. Okay guys, so the first thing we got, I've got to get you off my stand for this one, then I'll put you on the stand. I think I can put the rest of it on the table. We got this big it's on wheels. It's got a handle here. It's got a handle here. It also has a handle on the bottom. It's got a piece of cardboard stuck in there I'm going to have to pull out. But, um, and of course we've got our handle here. This thing's pretty pretty good size. So we need one for when we go on our adventures. We got this at Goodwill and Crystal River. It's in, it's in pretty good shape. Uh, we got it for $12.98. Couple blemishes, nothing major, so. Um, but inside, I don't know where the zipper is now. <laughs> Opened up earlier. I can. Is it this one? Must have been. This one here. Yeah, inside. I don't know how we can see that. Originally came from Ross. Ah, uh, $34.99, so it's a $35 item. We got for 13 bucks. So that's pretty cool. Now I'm going to put you on the stand and I'll bring the rest of the stuff up here on the table where you can see it better. Okay guys, so the first thing I got here, I just decided to put you up here. Um, I've got Monkey over there. She is editing her video. Hi Monk. <laughs> so uh, she likes to sit out here and do stuff on her computer. I got this for a dollar. Um, smart can. What the hell? heat indicator it tells you how hot it is but this is that sterno two hour gel so each can i got it for a dollar so what the heck right it's it's full it's never been open so i got this and monkey picked this up for me at the uh goodwill and crystal river if you guys are around this area and you like goodwill go to goodwill and crystal river they're awesome it's very new, $2.99. She got this for me because, as you can see, it's an apron, because of the flames, you know, when I do my Chef Shaber stuff, and, you know, because of the flames on my um, on my intro. So I thought that was really, really cool. So that's good. I like that. One size fits most. <laughs> okay, so now, let me see. What else do I want to bring up here for you? Uh, okay, let's see. <laughs> This is an upcoming video here that Monkey made me buy. Don't step in it. So it's a game that you play blindfolded. We checked it out. It's all in here. And it's got a mat and it's got like this, um, this Play-Doh stuff and it's got a mold and you make poop piles and you spin a dial and stuff and you try to walk down this mat blindfolded without stepping in the poo so, so stay tuned for this this was a dollar fifty she got a half off so it was like 87 cents or whatever so you know tax so don't step in it so this should be fun to do okay so there's that now i've got something else here that is pretty neat that i had to have because i don't have this one I've got this cool tripod here. Let me see if you zoom in. No. 
this is cool I'll turn you I'll set it up here and show you it's got a it's got a strap okay this is a big ass it is the um, professional tripod it's used it's vintage um, I checked these out now we're going to go over this on its own okay we're going to do a video of this by itself uh, I checked these out you can get this this exact one here are selling for 150 to 200 bucks you can get the newer versions of these for um they're selling used on uh, ebay for around 80 to 100 now this is the same is made by the same company as this the manfrotto uh it's made in italy i had to have it because well i don't have that one <laughs> i do not have this tripod and another reason is three dollars and 98 cents so i think it's boggin budgin but yeah it's um made in italy and it is the uh, model number three zero one one and the head is the model number three zero two five you can get different heads this does all kinds of stuff but we're going to check this out in a future video on its own okay as well with the next item i'm going to show you let's get you back over here all right now this item here is freaking cool I know it's just a radio it's a Panasonic but it's called travel vision okay and look at this antenna it's flawless there's nothing wrong with this antenna and I like vintage stuff so this just caught my eye they had ten dollars on it I got it for five bucks with ten percent off but this is what's cool about it it's got a little TV I know analog doesn't work anymore it doesn't matter to me I don't even care if this thing works but I just thought it was really cool. Okay. A little headphone jack there. This is really neat. I mean, that screen's what, an inch? <laughs> but I need to look this, this up. It's got the serial number. And, uh, November 1982. Right there. So that's cool, November of 1982. So I had to have it in the battery case. It's not, you know, no one's left batteries in it. So that's good. Like I said, I don't know if it works. I don't care because this thing is is just so cool, man. Yep, Panasonic. Um, it also you can put your DC six volt and just plug it in if you want. So and this is your contrast, your brightness, your volume, your radio tuning, TV, radio, and charging. So you can probably put at one time you might have been able to put uh, rechargeables in here i don't know um you know i'm probably never going to use this thing so but it's this it's just really cool i just thought it was really neat so this will be on its own as well okay so all right now <clears throat> set that over there and i got something else here I got this bag of stuff and it's got tapes camera tapes in it um, looks like there's two different kinds I don't know why but anyway JVC one of these things that you so you don't have to use a battery and it's got a booklet here it's got these little mini tapes I don't know why they were thrown in here but anyway that's cool. Now I got this because I ended up getting this. And Monkey was like, oh my God, he saw it. Yes, I did see it, Monk. I got this. So that other stuff is the stuff for this. So like I said, I don't care if this works or not. I just like these vintage, these old little compact VHS they were called um it's pretty neat i don't know again i don't know if it works i don't care i did pay up for this i gave them 
<clears throat> they wanted 25 offered them 20 and 10 percent discount so it was like 18 bucks so like a couple batteries here a couple in that bag so this will also be a video in itself like i said i don't care if it works this just it looks it just i like it i got i got like three shoulder shoulder cameras remember the ones you would set on your shoulder and uh thought I had it like this. Hmm. Um, the ones you set on your shoulders, I thought if anything that tripod would look so cool with one of them things setting, one of my real old ones setting on the, uh, was it like this? one of my real old shoulder mounts shoulder mount cameras sitting on the uh, sitting on that old tripod it's pretty cool so that's what we got today monkey got some things so make sure you check out her channel as well because she got some cool stuff um, that she wants to share with you guys so I was like well yeah go ahead that's our haul like I said I'll have let's see we'll go ahead and um, like there'll be what three other videos on my stuff four because we'll do and i'm not sure when but we'll do the game the don't step in it game and we'll check this tripod out oil it up and all that stuff it is heavy tripod but like i said it's it's older it's made for those big shoulder things and when i looked it up it is professional grade so it's made for heavy cameras uh, so I won't be carrying it much, but like I said, that would just look so cool with one of my big shoulder cameras <laughs> sitting on there for display once I find a place to display all my vintage cameras. So, and then we'll check out the little Panasonic TV here. That'll be a video on its own. And, of course, trying out the JVC camera. That might be the first one because I love my cameras, guys. So anyway, that's our haul for today. We was mostly looking for stuff to check, check, check. Oh, okay. I didn't see any lines up here, so I thought my mic went out. Um, so uh, I was kind of like trying to find some place to, some stuff to sell. But I ended up buying everything I got I'll keep. <laughs> but that's not the point. But we did find a place at one of these um, thrift stores that every second Tuesday or every second Saturday of the month um, they have 50% off in the whole store that's not the good thing the good thing is that we can go and set up and sell stuff in their parking lot for free they don't charge us anything they said just be there and be set up before nine o'clock so that's pretty cool and don't take up any uh, any handicap spaces so that's that's cool she said they have they haven't had anyone take them up on that offer yet because it's been so hot it's starting to cool down now so the next time they have that that's what we're going to do we're going to go and set up there because we got like three tables so yeah she was like yeah it's free set up so that's pretty cool um yeah neato <laughs> so anyway guys Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Shea Bear, the Myth, Man, Legend. I'm gone for now. So stay tuned for more videos on this stuff. I still got to do the the lights and the wiring on the boat. And uh, hopefully here soon we'll be doing some boating. Um, Tuesday's Monkey's birthday. So, uh, but there's a place called Monkey Island that you can go. You can't go on the island. But there's like a pizza place or something there, like a little restaurant that we can go. And I'll zoom in and get some monkey shots for her. She wants to go see the monkeys for her birthday. So, jump on over and wish her well, would you guys? I would appreciate it. And I appreciate you guys watching. And uh, Shea Bear, the myth, the man, the legend. I'm gone for now. Bye-bye, guys. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. We'll see you soon.